Hello, my gamers. Welcome to the second night of WWE 2K23 Recap. Tonight, we did not get any title changes whatsoever. Main event, Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes was the match of the night. Last night was Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley for the SmackDown Women's Championship was the match of the night. So, no titles has not been changed. Oops, I pressed the showcase. I guess exit here. So, the opening contest is scheduled for one fall. I'm gonna do manager MVP if I can. Well, I can do manager MVP? Okay, so I'll do manager MVP. I get my MVP. So the opening contest is scheduled for one for Omos with MVP versus Brock Lesnar. One of the tallest competitors in WWE history. The personification of intimidation. The Colossus has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by MVP from Lagos, Nigeria. Weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian Giant. It looks like we might not be waiting for the bell. Oh, that Oh shit, Brock Lesnar ran in. He ran in to attack Omos. I hope the ref doesn't call it off. Well, I actually agree with you, Saxton. Oh man, check out this power. Last night I actually calmed down the settings for run-ins. But I'll probably change that before the next match, guys. <laughs> but yeah. How do you tackle the gargantuan challenge of defeating a superstar like Brock Lesnar? When you're up against Brock, it's time to go big or go home. Forget about jabs and locking up. You gotta bring out the Oh my his foot is on stuck on the top of the thing. What the hell is wrong with this game? Why did he say what? What is this? Look at Lesnar. WWE Universe knows he's the most dangerous man in the building. What is this, guys? He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. I'm gonna have to cancel this match. Would you just look at him? Brock Lesnar, the beast incarnate. I'll give it about 30 more seconds. Taking a moment okay, I'm calling it. This match is just, it's ending now. So we're going to restart it, but I'm going to change the settings, guys. Gameplay balancing. I mean that. Okay. 
make it six. Six, eight, ten. That's that's perfect. Okay. So right now we're gonna redo Omos versus Brock Lesnar. Hopefully we don't get another crazy moment. First it Brock Lesnar. Size this man, seven foot three inches tall, 400 pounds, the true colossus of WWE. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by MVP from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian giant. The grandest stage of all is the only stage that can fit Omos. The Colossus made his WWE debut at WrestleMania, winning the tag team titles alongside AJ Styles. Well, I'm sure Omos will have even more colossal WrestleMania moments to come. Okay, you're walking into a massacre when you step into the ring with the beast Brock Lesnar. I sure hope this dude updated his life insurance. He is the alpha male of our species. And Lesnar looking to dominate. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. It is cowboy time at the Showcase of the Immortals. Brock Lesnar has been a WrestleMania main eventer ever since his first WrestleMania, where he won the WWE title from Kurt Angle. Since then, he's had many main event encounters against the likes of Triple H and Roman Reigns, even ended the Undertaker streak. But this man has a WrestleMania chip on his shoulder after losing the championship unification match against Roman Reigns at the biggest WrestleMania match of all time. There are plenty of words you could use to describe Brock Lesnar. Warrior, cowboy, but none fit him exactly as Beast. There's never been a superstar that has personified dominance like the Beast incarnate, Brock Lesnar. The mere presence of Brock Lesnar in the ring fills this arena with an air of anticipation. Everyone wants to know what level of carnage he will unleash in this match. I think it's a safe bet that Lesnar will exceed whatever your expectations might be in that regard. When it comes to in-ring competition, Lesnar never holds back. Yeah, but have you seen Omos? Just look at him. What are you supposed to do with a guy like that? I think you hit the nail on the head. I don't think words can properly convey the sight of this young superstar, and that's before you see the power that he brings to the table. He's a little inexperienced, but when you can do what he can, it tends not to matter. Oh, look at the knee strikes. Precision strikes. Brock is in complete command here. It is. His shoulders are down. 
kicks out on the pinfall attempt. This isn't even close to over. Can't quite get him there. Hey! Here's the cover. And he powers out. Wow. And he goes for the pin. And he easily stops the ref's count. Close call, but not enough yet. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Oh, my gosh! I'm sure Brock Lesnar wants to get the win in this one. What's it going to take for him to do that? Simple. Brock just needs to be Brock. Be ruthless. Be unrelenting. The more Lesnar lets himself lean into his darkest, most violent tendencies, the better his chances of winning are going to be. Right forearm. Lamas able to counter. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. Heading back to the ring. take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Counters with an attack on Omas. Blow to the abdomen gets them out of that. Ah, oh, clubbing blow to the back. Ooh. Coming next, taking their time. Oh, punch to the gut. I'll pick the wind right out of you. He is just reeling from that offense. The Beast certainly looked to be off the leash there. Continuing to attack the neck. Draped over the top rope. Ooh. Oof. And Lesnar stalking. And Omas capitalizes there. Omas looking to end this. Choke slam. And he goes for the pin. And still hanging on. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Gets him with the counter. Lesnar with a waist lock. I think we're about to take a trip, gentlemen. This is where Brock Lesnar is at home. Suplex City. Oh, man. Lesnar creating some serious carnage. Byron, grab your little dog and warn your aunt. With an F5. Bang. Lesnar's got this closed up. Improving a bit slippery for him there. Man, this place is just... Lamas with a vice light -like grip on his opponent. Jackknife power. Can that finish the beast off? Oh, but how? How? Perform all your heavy hitters. The result will be the same. Brock Lesnar will not stay down. But Omas can't let his opponent recover here if he wants to maintain his advantage. Really just laying it in. And Omas pays for leaving an opening. Knee right to the gut. We're going to apply an agonizing armbar stretch. Punishing stretch. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Brock with an opening to go high. From the top. Diving elbow drop. Are you kidding me? Oh, and a knee. Hit another. And the 
Nicholas. Nicholas. In the cover. Roman Reigns won at WrestleMania, and he won in WWE 2K23. as an amazing it was a bleh match in Wrestlemania <sighs> the next match is going to be a triple threat match and it's for the Intercontinental Championship. So we're gonna do with we're gonna start with Drew McIntyre We're gonna have our champion Gunter And our Celtic warrior, Sheamus. And it's going to be for the Intercontinental Championship. Bum, bum, bum. Celtic Warrior. The following contest is a triple threat match. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds. The Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! Nearly 15 years into his WWE career, Sheamus still manages to deliver banger after banger. Okay. After banger. We got it. After banger. Bang. Would you stop? After, after banger. banger. Oh my gosh. After, after banger. After banger. After the banger. After banger. After banger. After banger. Banger. showcase of the immortals who could forget that incredible moment for drew mcintyre when he won the wwe championship from brock lesnar in the main event of wrestlemania 36 something tells me the countdown to claymore has already begun 
The Scottish warrior prepared for battle. The ring general has arrived. A man who ruled NXT with an iron fist and now looks to dominate the main roster. Introducing the champion, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Gunter! The ring general has declared the mat sacred and sees this industry as pure sport, meaning there is no room for games and antics. Uh, Gunther takes everything so seriously, like he's always scowling. Hey, listen, he takes pride in what he does. It's difficult not to admire the expertise possessed by Gunther. Gunther is so unflinching, as if nothing phases him. The man's impervious to distraction because he's constantly focused on the task at hand. Yeah, it's like watching a machine. Who's going to lay claim to the workhorse title here tonight? The prestigious Intercontinental Championship being defended in this match under triple threat rules with Sheamus, Drew McIntyre, and Gunther. The mind of the champion must be going a mile a minute, wondering what's the best strategy in this situation. If you're the champ, you need to make an alliance of some sort. It does you no favors if you're the main focus in this match. You want to make it a one-on-one -on -one and make sure that you're not the odd competitor out. Clubbing blows. What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. And out of the ring he goes. Oh, McIntyre holding him at bay. Falconero back in the ring now. Knee to the gut creates separation. Stops the kick. Able to capitalize on McIntyre's mistake. Breaker. Some superstars are understandably hesitant to exploit the no disqualification stipulation. Then they need to go wrestle a different match. This is the kind of match where you need to cross the line before the opposition does. If a superstar wants the W, they need to overcome that hesitation. Kendo stick to the skull. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's got him by the leg with a DDT. Oh, oh diamond plate facial. Fancy here. Backbreaker. Oh, backbreaker. Into the ring again. Body slam. Oh, Sheamus saw it coming. Going for a pin for the championship. Then he gets the shoulder up before two. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Counter. And now there's an opening. Big boat. Oh, jeez, you might break a neck that way. Two. And he kicks out at two. Just barely, but it counts. I don't know what they're looking for here. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Striking with the knee drop. So precise. Oh, that'll leave a mark. Big clothesline. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. 
Well, the Celtic Warrior wants a fight, and one way or another, he's going to get it. He avoids the damage. Takedown. Ooh. Oh, God. He climbs into the ring. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh, look at this and an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. He's one step ahead there. Look at this, going counter for counter. Overhand right lands. Oof, nails the midsection. Gunther quick to the counter. Not getting the two at this point has got to say something. Scoop slam. Wait, no. Wow. Outrageous strength on display. And a bad landing. Hey, fella, you're ready to go. Uh oh. Out of the way in time. Imminent doom for him. Mention it up, Goo Driver. Hit the ropes. Brutal knee to the side of the face. The challenger not looking good right now. Yeah, triple threat matches are no cakewalk, and they are showing this. Here's a pin for the title. Kick out and one for the challenger. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. And back in the ring we go. And that prevents Gunther's offense. Necker. McIntyre with Gunther from behind, looking to cinch it in. This one may be over. Good night. And he breaks the hold. Oh, and a reversal. Uh-oh. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Oh, here's the pin title on the line. Go. Shoulders up before two. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Oh, man, he grabbed the kendo stick. Everyone needs to watch out now. Jameis dodges that one. Ooh, foul. Ooh. Champ looking to end this. And he breaks up the pinfall. Neck breaker. Some hard offense landing on the champ. This should come as no surprise. In a havoc-filled triple threat, you're going to take some big hits. He went right into that turnbuckle. Ripped in the hard way. He just barely dodges. Dame is looking for a fight no matter how it comes his way. Knife edge chop. He's heading back to the ring. McIntyre reverses and looks to capitalize. <laughs> Stiff elbow will break that up. Neck breaker. Cover for the championship. No, he gets the shoulder up. And you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. right into the swift chop block. He grabbed the chair. Oh, now would be a good time to perched up top. Through the air. And connects. Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Thunderous power bomb. He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Power slam! And a surge of offense from a batter, Drew McIntyre. Gunther needs to shake off the cobwebs and regain points. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. Well, this match at WrestleMania was not bad. Um, from a schedule of 1 to 5 on my personal scale, um, I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. Um, so it's not that bad. So 3.5 out of 5, I give it. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I give this match a 3.5 out of 5, but it was a pretty good match at WrestleMania tonight. 
um, surprising Gunter retained. And yeah. And Sheamus is countered. Real European uppercut. Covered by the champ. Breaks the close count. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. Then attack for the championship. He's able to beat a two count. This is insanity. Did you expect anything less? Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Oh, kick by Sheamus. We can have a new champion. Pin. And the kick out. We knew it was not going to be an easy task to put the champion away. And that... has come unglued. Rightfully so. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Steel stares to the face. Oh, clobbered by the steps. That'll make you reassess some things. Quick return to the ring. Shoulder. The fight is being taken to Sheamus. Next level brutality coming from McIntyre. Fought back with a punch to the gut. Hooked up. Driven down. All the way up. Backbreaker. The Celtic Warrior making the climb. From the top, elbow drop, good lord. Got to find a way to get out of this. Targeting the throat there. Big boot. What a boot. To retain the title. You gotta believe that some doubt is creeping into the champ's head. This just might be more than what the champ bargained for. Gunter from behind, looking to cinch it in. This one may be over. Coquina and Clunk, he breaks up the hole. Oh, man. Turned it into a statement DDT. Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. Oh, throwing down the proverbial gauntlet. Where is this going to go next? Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. And we just saw some serious offense. Big boot! Incredible. Big slam. See if that kick out was a spark, or is it the challenger's last gasp? And Guther definitely thought that would put him down. I can't imagine he's going to take it easy on him after such a defiant kick out. Oh! What, what do you say? 
I mean, this, this is this is amazing. Well executed suplex. Sheamus with the Irish curse. I don't think Sheamus is done, Byron. Oh my God. And it's over by Sheamus. Good grief. And his torso now a pin for the championship. Oh shit. So in WWE 2K23, Shaman wins the Intercontinental Champion. The only championship that he hasn't won yet. triple threat match I cannot even imagine how any of these men feel after a match like that all I can really say is that they put on a triple threat match for the ages okay so that match has happened now we're gonna do the Hell in a Cell match between Edge and Finn Balor. But we're gonna add a little twist to it. Because the computer likes to do a lot of weird shit. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, the ladder is locked. Ha <laughs> ha. So we'll probably do a stop sign. Hold on. Two out of three fours. KO. It was come to what I might do a KO. Force count anywhere. I can't do that. Okay, so I might do a KO. I might add KO to it. Because when they go to the top, because they might end up in the top of the ladder. So I'm trying to have it um, be it. If, if they do go up there, if someone wins by knockout, possibly. Because I gotta do a little change. I don't wanna waste time, guys. Get down. Far in the end of soft and my heart is turned. Opportunist, one of the most cunning superstars in WWE history. The following contest 
is a Hell in a Cell match. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds. The Rated R Superstar Edge. Already a storied WrestleMania career, including a main event match against the one and only Undertaker. Here comes Finn Balor. A man who has truly embraced his darkness and has seen success as a result. And his opponent representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds. Finn Balor. Well, Finn Balor is a true fierce competitor who will beat down anyone in his path. Balor has honed his skill set and turned his entire body into a weapon. Hey, let's not forget, Balor is a very gifted technical wrestler. Now, Balor also has a very nasty attitude. Who are you to pass judgment on a member of the Judgment Day, Byron? Focus in Balor's eyes. Now yeah, Balor looks ready to clear the obstacle that awaits him. Well, Byron, I think Finn wants to do more than clear the obstacle. Finn looks ready to obliterate the obstacle. And returning to the ring. Out of the ring and into hell itself. Here we go, guys. Hell in a Cell. Only way you win is by pinfall or submission. Nowhere to escape. The Cell designed to torture, designed to contain. Truly nowhere run. Knife edge chop. Boom! Drop kick. Oh, saw it coming. Now on the outside, right by those Cell walls. He steps foot in the ring again. Makes him pay with a counter. Oh, look at the elbow. Look at just hammered away in the back. And a backstabber in the cover. Only a one count before the kick out. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Hooked up. DDT. He thinks he has it. And a kick out at two. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. And it's Edge getting out of that one. Edge on the receiving end. Look at this. Snap suplex. Tyron, is it possible to devise a game plan as a competitor when you're embarking on a journey through hell? Competitors must resign themselves to the fact that doing battle in this torturous structure means their mind, body, and soul will never be the same again. A kendo stick wrapped around the head. And well-timed maneuver there. And Finn was ready for that. Oh, what a drop kick. Able to elude it. One coming took advantage. Execution. And into the count. Two count. Finn Balor finds a way to stay in this. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Turns the tide from the knee to the abdomen. 
sends him into the corner. Finn lining him up. That will do it. Not getting up from that one, so it's called. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. So Finn Balor wins this match, but Edge won the Hair in the Cell at WrestleMania. So, yep, this match has been decided for Finn Balor in WWE 2K23. Okay, guys, so now we're going to do Oscar versus Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's Championship. Okay, this is completely embarrassing. This is not loading, guys. Uh, I can't end stream like this. This is literally not loading, guys. Wow. This is not loading, guys. I can't. I will have to end stream just to restart. Let's see if I can pause it, but if it does end, please rejoin me within 90 seconds.